Hi, it's Lanny, and I'm here in my kitchen today to talk to you about one of my favorite topics, and that's bread. I'm a real bread girl. I have it just about every day, and it's a great addition to a whole foods diet. Here's a, what I want to tell you about today. I want to tell you about a couple of my favorite kinds of breads, give you some tips about how you can utilize them, and then I'm going to ask you to share with me about your favorite breads. First, this is a pretty recent find for me. Look at this. It's called, it's from Trader Joe's. It's called Organic Demi Miche. This are, these are the ingredients. You ready? Organic whole wheat flour, filtered water, and sea salt. That is it. Pretty pure on ingredients. Now, here's what I like about this bread. Besides the content, I also find, since it's so heavy and so solid, that it's easy to slice. Now, if the purpose of that for me is I get to control the thickness of the slices of my bread. Sometimes you get a loaf of bread and the slices are too thick, it's, it's too uh, deep for a sandwich. So because this really can stand up to a bread knife, I can come up with some nice thin slices and it makes a perfect sandwich. Um, no more half sandwiches, you know, don't need to do that. Another bread that's a good choice is any of the sprouted bread. Now this also is from Trader Joe's. This is, these are great because they have a little disrupt, less disruption of the fiber in the grain itself. So also um, other companies make sprouted flourless bread also, Alvarado Street and Ezekiel. Now here's the nice thing about this bread, and you may not know this. I kind of figured this out while I was, uh, again, experimenting with how to get thinner slices of bread if you wanted them. You can actually take a piece of this bread, pop it in the toaster, it dries it out just enough so that when you take it out, it will stand up to a horizontal cut from a good bread knife. And I'll just cut it through in the edge like this. Oh, I didn't even toast this piece and it's still working pretty good. That way, if you want to control the amount of bread that you're eating in relation to your other whole grains, you've got a little bit more, um, a, more of a way to do that. So there you have it, two of my favorite kinds of breads. What I'd like you to do is if you could post down below either a really good quality bread that you know about to share with other people or even any of your tricks for bread preparation. I gotta go you know, make some sandwiches now, so I just wanted to share these quick bread tips with you. I'll see you next time. This is Lanny. Oh,